pleading the blood of me. I'm pleading the blood that that I that the Rukadesh's words will come out the way it's supposed to. Because I'm going to speak on a very holy matter. The name the third commandment on the name of Yahweh. Because in Deuteronomy 5 and 11 it says, You are not to misuse the name of Adonai, your God, because Adonai will not leave unpunished someone who misuses his name. His name is to be glorified above all names. He is to be held at the most highest level. And we are to praise Him. And we are to honor Him. And this commandment goes far beyond um, abusively using His name in cursing and in profanity. It goes that you and I that have come to know him through the blood of Yeshua must honor him in everything we do. That includes all the other commandments that come behind us. For when we do not honor his commandments we are profaning his name for he has laid it out that his name is the very essence of him when you speak it people call me Barbara that's my name if you come into the room and you say is Elizabeth here, or Jackie here, or Maria here, or Mary here. I, I won't pay any attention to you. I just sit there because it's not called by my name. Now, if you come in the room and say, Is Barbara here? I may not be the only Barbara here, but I'm going to go and say, Yes, I'm here. I'm here. If you speak my whole name, then I'll know for sure it's me you're talking to. His 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 name is part of his divine character, his divine essence of him. And when we break any of his commandments, we are profaning his name. For he was the one that laid down the law. He is the one that laid down the substance that we are to go by. If we steal, we profane his name. If we commit adultery, we profane his name. For by his name all things consist, all things are together in one. In Ephesians, Ephesians, the fifth chapter, and start with 15th verse, it says, Therefore pay carefully attention to how you conduct your life. Live wisely, not unwisely. Use your time well, for those these are the evil days. So don't be foolish, but try to understand what the will of the Lord is. Don't get drunk with wine because it makes you lose control. Instead, keep on being filled with the Spirit. Sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to each other. Sing to the Lord and make music in your heart to Him. Always give thanks for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Yeshua. When we are praying things that are amiss in His name, we are profaning, profaning His name. We are not honoring 
the things that he has laid down for us to walk by and to live by. His name covers everything and we are to reverend it in a holy, holy manner. Not praying curses upon each other in his name because that's profaning his name. He is the judge. We are not. We are to glorify him in all ways and all things. We are to uphold his name with the the carefulness of the dignity that he deserves. When this revelation came to me that the third commandment goes far beyond, far beyond just someone using his name in curses and, and, and profanity that way. It goes into every act, every deed, every thought, every word we speak. When we go against him, his name, using his name and saying, Thus saith the Lord, you better make sure it's Thus saith the Lord, for his name is so holy. We are speaking of his essence. We are speaking of him in the personal form. And we need to honor him. And we need to hold up our hands and praise him. And, and bless his name. And bless him for what he has done. He has created the whole earth. He has created everything in it. He has made it in his likeness. He has made us in his likeness. And when we curse and defame his name, even in a prayer against someone else, we will be held accountable for it. We will be judged on that merit that we are putting out in his name. For we are the same as stepping forward and saying, I am standing in for the Lord today, so thus I pray this prayer. I pray that you, you die and you go to hell. How dare we speak in this way? How, do, how dare we as human beings stand in the presence of the Almighty and provoke His name when we don't have the authority to provoke His name in those ways? We are to bless Yeshua. You can go to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You can go to every statement that Yeshua said is to forgive to love and he says that he speaks these words as a representative of his father Yahweh he walked a life that was pure and holy setting an example that we should hold we are not to curse and profane his name against anyone else because that judgment will come back on us. It will. I've had to pray and ask the Father forgive me. Because in, in my ignorance of not knowing the very conception of the third commandment. Not understanding what he is saying and what he is covering. I have profound his name when I have prayed prayers that I should not have prayed and I've had to ask Father forgive me forgive me I really did not know but I won't do it again I learned through studying this about his name that even breaking the least of his commandments is profaning his name the least of his commandments and if I cannot love my brother if I cannot love my enemy if I cannot pray for them and pray blessings upon them instead of curses. And it says plainly in the scriptures, Paul even said, 
that we are to bless and not curse. We are to love and not hate. I pray, I pray for everyone that's hearing this, that they will receive the message that we are to honor His name. We are always to mention His name with praises and glory to Him for what He has done for us. And be satisfied in the state that He has put us in to be tested and learned that we will become His child that we will become unto his likeness and that one day we can stand before him in all his holiness and righteousness. We are responsible to take the word, the scriptures, and search it out and find out what profanity means. Profanity means that if you dishonor the, his temple, his vessels, his him, his being, his his commandments, we are profaning him and his name. For his name is holy, holy and above all names. So let us get on our knees and say, Father, forgive us when we have not understood the awesomeness of your name and the awesomeness of your being. Forgive us, Father, forgive us that we have been ignorant in this, this situation. Bring us to you as little children and asking forgiveness and forgive us, Father, forgive us. Do not judge us, O oh, Father, that, in, that we have done things in, through ignorance. And I know that there is a day that you are not going to weak at our ignorance, but you will hold us firm to every word we say, and especially the ones we say in your name, your name, for you honor your name, and you want it to be whole, almost in awe when you speak the words of the author. When you say his name, because he enters in, and his very presence enters into us. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us. In the name of Yeshua, I beg you, forgive us.